iWin has done it again. He's come up with more updates for the Surface Duo and the Surface Duo 2. And the updates are getting a little more interesting. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I just wanted to start off this video by saying thank you. There are now over 1,700 of you subscribed to the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. If you like the content that you're seeing here, please share the channel with a friend who's interested in the same kind of things you are so that the word can get out that this channel exists because the more of you that subscribe, the better opportunities I have for you to go find new technology and show it off to you. Not speaking of new technology, but Tywin has come up with new updates for the Surface Duo and the Surface Duo 2. His new releases are version 2023-1130 and 2023-1129. Both of those seem to be pointed at the Surface Duo 1 instead of the Surface Duo 2, and I'll get into that a little bit later. But I wanted to show you some of the improvements that have been made in the Surface Duo environment. So taking a look at the device itself, the interface is a lot more stable than it used to be. So prior to this update for my devices, the Pixel Launcher would constantly crash and it was hard to maintain uh, screen closures so like you couldn't flip back and forth between screens both of those are actually solved now initially after installing the software i was having issues with some of the android background apps crashing however when i went into the play store i was able to update those and haven't had an issue since i also initially had an issue with google messages and rcs and simply resetting the network connections on the phone helped with that completely. So now I have fully functioning RCS through Google Messages, phone calls work, SIM card works, all of this works. This is now like actually my secondary device. I was using the Samsung A50, which is what is filming right now. But after my repair video, which you may have seen, I immediately cracked the screen like two days later because I'm an idiot and didn't put a screen protector on the phone. So those two big issues are out of the way. You can fold this phone, it will work for whichever display you wanna put it on, and it works quite well. I've also not seen any issues with any apps. I can go into YouTube, pull up a channel, play some videos, and they will play just fine. The only actual issue I have right now is that sometimes when you open from one screen to the other, you get this fading effect. It may be hard to see there, but it takes a second for the screen to kick in, and it does this for auto rotation as well. When you take the screen and try to auto rotate it, you get a lot of ghosting that goes on. This may be something I can fix with the animations like turning the animation settings down a little bit i haven't tried that yet but all in all the pixel experience on the surface duo is running smooth and like i said the surface duo is going to be my new secondary device heading over to the surface duo 2 now, you can see right off the bat that the Android System Intelligent app is crashing. Now, this, this phone I have done very little to other than install the latest version of the firmware, which I'm going to talk about in a second again. But this latest version is focused on the Surface Duo only. I installed it because I was still having the same issues I have had with this particular device and running Tywin's ROMs, which is... Closing the device and trying to use this front screen while touching the back screen. For some reason, in some of the apps and some of the time, it will not let me touch the back of the screen. 
And as you can see here, I'm also having some issues with the secondary screen even coming on. Sometimes I have to close and open the phone just to get the other screen to work. Pi does have an update for the Surface Duo. However, that update, as you can see here, is two updates back from the most current one. I have not installed this particular update on the Surface Duo 2, which may be my problem, and I'll get around to doing that soon for testing. I just got so excited that the update was out for the Duo and that it works that I jumped on it and started using it. So there's one more thing I need to tell you guys about my previous video. Uh, my previous video is showing you how to install this ROM or this image on your Surface Duo. I forgot one very, very important step. And that very important step is once you've downloaded the image that ends in .img.xz, you don't want to simply rename it. There's a good chance the image won't install if you just rename it. You will get an error about byte sizes being too big or some such. What you need to do instead is simply right click on the image file. If you have WinRAR or 7-zip, you want to open it with that and then you will extract the image file to whichever folder you want to put it in. This part will take a little bit because it's extracting the image file from the image.xz file, but that will ensure that the image file is stable and will install on your Surface Duo. Well, that's my latest update on Ty's latest update for the Surface Duo and Surface Duo 2 devices. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And also let me know if you've installed any of these updates on your devices. Now, for my particular devices, I did go back through my steps, which I will link with the new updated unzipping of the image file in the description. I did wipe my devices to do this. I did not just install and reboot the device. I haven't had very much luck with the OTA updater either, so all of my devices just continuously get wiped. I think that with the Surface Duo, I'm not going to wipe it again, and I'm going to try OTA updates. But let me know what your experience has been like, if you've had any issues, and what they are. I would love to hear from you guys. As always, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. My name is Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.